here's what I would tell you. We come out of the gate and play Bloom. Bloom's a heck of a football team. They're ranked the top 10 or 15 in the country. Then we uh, play California. They're top 10 or 15 in the country. And then we got on the bus the day of the game and drove the lock gate, which is not an easy task. We were on the bus for about five hours. So we spit and sputtered a little bit. And I think we got better each each of those first three weeks. And last week we got on the bus and we ride nine hours and we got on CW Post. And a good thing happened, which added to it. But you know what? We, we finally got time as a football team to rest a little bit and keep home and play in front of our folks. And I think our kids were really excited. You know, so as much as everyone giving them the motivation to beat us, I think we had tremendous internal motivation that was really strong. Just, you know, he, he gets better every game. And, uh, you know, we're trying to design things to, to uh, work to his strengths. And um, he's doing his part by stepping up and leading us. And making plays. Nice job. Yeah, he did a nice job. I mean, I mean, Malik's been around here for a number of years. Yes, he's been around here for a number of years, and he's paid his dues, and he knows what the expectations are. And I thought he did a nice job. Should we assume that he's going to have to step into that role again next week? You know, I, I, I don't again? know yet. We'll need to sit down as a staff tomorrow and decide which direction we we need to go and want to go. And um, we'll have an answer here in a day or so. And Scott, just to go back to, to Cody for a minute, you know, he had to absorb a new offensive system, a new coordinator this year. You, you know, and that's the thing. He hasn't really missed a beat. No, people, people don't understand, though. You know, it's, uh, and I can just tell you from a head coach's standpoint, and, and, you know, Brian Volk is our offensive coordinator, and he does a great job. But, you know, even for myself, it's it's our third offensive coordinator in three years. And you know something? You want to talk about the adjustment for Cody. Yeah, I, I understand it because there's been an adjustment for me and the rest of the staff as well. Now, it's been a fun, positive adjustment, but there's still, there's a time period there that, you know, you have to adjust. You know, and, and, and give credit to Gannon. Gannon's going through the same thing with a freshman quarterback. You know, so, you know, I want to compliment them on their play. They, they played hard today. They came down here. Uh, they had a great game plan. You know, you could sit there and say maybe the difference was we had a junior experience quarterback. They had a freshman guy that's still learning his ways, you know. And, and so, you know, to be fair with them and, and to respect what they're doing. And I, I do have a, I have a lot of respect for what they're doing. It's real, it's real good for our team, and our offense is starting to click a little better. But uh, we got a uh, big team next week in the IUP. It's going to be fun. I expect it every week, honestly. Uh, um, I don't really prepare to score zero points, seven points, three points, you know. Uh, we prepare to score touchdowns, and uh, it's just fun to fun to click a little bit, and uh, hopefully it carries over to the next week. I missed the wind uh, in your face. Hurting my face. Right. I feel it. You know, uh, these guys are bailing me out in some situations. You know, I'm throwing the ball, throwing some ducks, and uh, throwing them short, and they're coming back and getting the ball. And uh, Ben Eisel had a heck of a catch in the end zone, you know. And uh, sometimes I miss a read here and there, and these guys are going up and getting the football. And uh, they come to practice every day and work hard. And uh, it's exciting to see them, them make plays like this. How much momentum were you able to take from, from last week, the, the big Hail Mary and come back overtime win? Were you able to take that and take it into this week at all? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. A win's always awesome. And, uh, you know, uh, going to the film room, um, making those corrections are a lot easier when you get a win, you know. And uh, coming out this week, we just wanted to put some points on the board and uh, play a good team in Gannon and uh, try to get a win and like we did. How great does it feel to come out and score 44 points, best offensive day points-wise of the year? on homecoming against Gain in a rival game. Oh, it's fun. Uh, homecoming is a great week, you know. People come out, we have great fans, and uh, it's just exciting. Yeah, I, I love it here at Edinburgh, and uh, I wouldn't have picked anywhere else. And I love it here, and it's fun. And putting out 44, man, I, I got to give credit to our offensive line, our wide receivers, our running backs, and especially our defense getting getting turnovers like they did and putting us in good field position. And uh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not about me, it's about this team, and uh, they, they helped us put up 44. Last thing, one, three in a row. IUP, you're learning about what this team means and that right, team right. means. Well, here, IUP games are big. Deal. Okay. Just speak to that, that challenge. Um, every week's a challenge, you know. Like I said before, um, a long time ago, it's ball players at every level. 
regardless of what level you play at. So I'm taking every game, and we're taking every game as a big game because we have to finish out and win out to get to our goals, you know. So when you worry about big games, every game's a big game. So you got to take the same preparation each week and uh, continue to get better and grow as a unit, offense, defense, and special teams.